Hi, welcome to OpenLC Solutions. Today we're going through the 2014 Ordinary Level Paper 2, and this is question 9, which is about trigonometry. We're told about this activity center with a zip line running from this point B to this point D. It's held up by two vertical poles, AB and CD, on level ground. There's a point E on the ground directly below the zip line, and we're given some measurements that are shown on the diagram. The first question actually asks us to find the distance ED correct to one decimal place. Since we're told that this is level ground and these poles are vertical, we know that this is a right angle here. And with that, we're allowed to use a lot of uh, trigonometric rules. We can use Pythagoras' theorem, we can start using the trigonometric identities. So what applies here? Well, we have two sides and we're looking for a third, so that means we're looking at Pythagoras' theorem. So ED squared is given by 10 squared plus 1.95 squared. And so ED is given by the square root of 10 squared plus 1.95 squared. And correct to one decimal place, that is 10.2, and these are meters. The next part of the question asks us to find this angle AEB, which I'm marking here, correct to the nearest degree. Once again, we know that we have a right angle triangle here because AB is vertical and the ground is level. So we can, again, use some trigonometric identities. In this right angle triangle, we're looking for this angle AEB, and with that as our reference, we know that the hypotenuse is 14 meters and the adjacent side is 12. So which trigonometric ratio is going to come into play here? It's cosine. Cosine of AEB is given by the adjacent side, which is 12, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 14. So to guess AEB on its own, angle AEB, you have to uh, undo this cos. You bring the cosine over the other side, whatever way you like to think of it. And you get arc cos, or cosine inverse, of 12 over 14 and that turns out to be 31 degrees correct to the nearest degree. First question in part B asks us to find this angle DEB which is this one. Given that the angle CED is 11 degrees so this angle here is 11 degrees and we already worked out in the previous question that AEB was 31 degrees. And so we define this missing angle. Well, we know that these three angles are all on a straight line, and so they must add up to 180 degrees. So we have 31 degrees plus this angle we don't know, DEB, plus 11 degrees, must add up to 180 degrees. And so this angle DEB must be 138 degrees. With that information then, we're asked to find this length db, that is the length of the zip line itself. So let me fill in this information on our diagram. We know that this angle is 138 degrees. We also worked out that the length ed was 10.2 meters. And now we have all the information we need to find bd. To find it, we need to use the cosine rules, which says that bd, if you square it, it's the same as if you have BE and square it, add ED and square that, subtract 2 times BE times ED, the same two sides we just had, times the cosine of the angle in between them, which is DEB. Then we just substitute in everything we know. BE is 14, and that gets squared. ED, we said, is 10.2, and that gets squared as well. Then it's minus 2 times 14 times 10.2 times cosine of the angle in between them, which is 138 degrees we worked out in the previous part of the question. So this is 196. 10.2 squared is 104.04. .04. The 2 by 14 by 10.2. Turns out to be 
then that cosine turns out to be minus 0 0.743 or thereabouts. We end up with uh, 512.2408. That's BD squared, so we need to get BD as well. You just need to square root that answer. And you end up with uh, 22.6 meters correct to one decimal place. That's the end of the question then, and indeed it's the end of the 2014 Ordinary Level Papers. So if you haven't taken your exam yet, then hopefully I will talk to you again in the 2015